Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we will be doing a budget reconciliation as well as a cash stuffing and a monthly Q&A. So if you have asked me a question over the past month here on the channel, I will be answering your questions. But before I get to answering y'all's questions, I have a couple questions for y'all because I just became privy of some information that I had no clue about. So first and foremost, have y'all heard about the government voting to shut down TikTok in the United States? I literally just found out about that like a couple days ago. I was watching another YouTuber. She made a comment saying, okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and post a TikTok. Might as well do it before the government shuts, shuts TikTok down. And I was like, wait a minute, what? So I went down the rabbit hole, started Googling, <laughs> like what is going on? Come to find out like the House, the Senate, one of them have already voted yes to shut TikTok down. I think President Biden wants to shut it down. They're waiting on the other chamber, I guess, to vote. So have y'all heard that? What information do y'all have about that? How do you feel about TikTok first and foremost? I just had to bring that to the family on today. Okay, y'all, so let's look at the week that we just had. So we had tons of bills due this week, car insurance, Apple Music, Wi-Fi, taxes, electricity, who it was a lot so that is what happened with my week so because of all these bills your girl had tons of no spend days so let's get into that okay y'all so i had about four no spend days this week monday tuesday on wednesday on Thursday. Today is Friday, so today starts a new budget for me. My weekly budgets go from Friday to Thursday. So for this upcoming week, I am meeting up with a couple of friends over this weekend. One friend to celebrate her birthday that I missed, or I missed the event last month. So I'm gonna be taking her out to eat tomorrow. And then another one of my close friends will be coming to church with me on Sunday. So we're gonna go out to eat as well. For the upcoming week, I just have a business bill due. And then I have my last taxes bill due. So I split up my taxes into two final payments. So last week I paid $65 and then this week I'm gonna pay $46. And that is going to conclude me owing taxes to the good old government this year. Whatever my tax bill is this year, I'm gonna go get my taxes done next month. Have y'all done y'all taxes yet? When I do my taxes this year, I'm going to pay my taxes in full. I am not getting on a payment plan again. I always pay my taxes in full. Last year, I just was like, oh, let me, you know, just do a payment plan, treat it like a bill. But I do not like being on a payment plan for taxes. My taxes this year, I already have the money put aside. I'm just gonna pay for them in full. So that's all I have going on this week. Would love to know how the month of March is going for you guys. Are you in budget? Are you over budget? Let me know. Our April budget kits are available in the shop. I'm currently working on creating kits for the Happy Planner as well as creating kits in the eight and a half by 11 size. So you guys will be getting that very soon. And our May budget kit stickers are available in the shop. If you purchase May from me throughout this past week, your order is going to be shipping on Monday if it was a sticker only order. If the order did include um, envelopes, it's going to need the full processing time. And this is the second design for May. So there's nothing to update over here on my dashboard. I'm just probably gonna end up getting my passport next month. I just didn't get to it this month. This is gonna be happening this weekend. Everything else is gone. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and update my bills with you guys here on camera. So for my car insurance, I budgeted $116 and it came out to $115.09. I am with Progressive, if you were wondering. For my Apple subscription, I, and this is a mixture of storage and music. So my storage is, I think 99 cents. Music is like 11 something. I budget $13 every month. And the total of those two came out to 1267. I also forgot my Wi-Fi. I forgot to put that over here. I'm just gonna put it up here under this miscellaneous column under income because I didn't receive any miscellaneous income this month. So. I won't need that column. My Wi-Fi, I budgeted $31 and it came out to be 3016. 
for my cash stuffing next week i am going to have all these amounts closed out for you guys so you can see how i did in all these categories okay so let's go ahead and close out paycheck three also forgot to mention on the budget page i had already put in my exact amount for electricity which was 129.63 I had budgeted 130 and then taxes, I paid $65. So I budgeted 355 last week for bills and the bills came out to $352.55. Okay, so for cash envelopes, I budgeted 185, I have $10 left, so I spent 175. Sinking funds got the exact amount, so did the saving challenge, and nothing in extra expenses, and nothing unbudgeted. We we're doing really good in that category this month. So 352.55 plus 175 plus 72 plus five equals 604.55 is what we actually spent okay so i'm gonna draw a line here 355 minus 352.55 is two dollars 45 cents and then i know in my cash envelopes i saved ten dollars so that's 12.45 617 minus 604.55 should be 12.45 okay so for paycheck four I am going to be pulling cash out for my taxes to do a cash transfer. That'll be $46. My cash envelopes are going to be 215, sinking funds 72. My saving challenge, I'm going to put in 47 and then nothing extra is coming up. Although I am hanging out with my friends this weekend, I'm just gonna pull it out of my cash envelope budget and then nothing for unbudgeted. So we have 46 plus 215 plus 72 plus 47 equals 380. And that is an additional 180 for the week. Okay, so for the weekly check-in, for spending, I gave myself $50 and I spent 47. For gas, I gave myself 45 and I spent 38. For groceries, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in red because even though I'm not over for the month, I was over this week, 71. Home, did not get anything. Eating out, I spent the whole 20. And then the other categories did not get anything. So on my weekly check-in page, I will mark something in red if I was over for the week in the spent column. I will mark it in red in the remaining column if I'm over for the whole month, just to clarify. So 181 minus 47 is 134. In gas, 98 minus 38 is 60. For groceries, 158 minus 71 is 87. For home, I still have $5 remaining. Eating out, 53 minus 20 is 33. For beauty, I still have the 180. And for meds, I still have 40. Okay, so for my spending category, I still have $134 left for the month. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give myself 100. For gas, I'm going to give myself 45. For groceries, I'm going to give myself 70. Home is not gonna get anything. For eating out, my boyfriend gave me a gift card. We'll talk about that when we get to the cash stuffing. And I don't need anything in meds and I'm not gonna get myself anything in beauty. Okay, y'all, so this is my expense tracking sheet. We have been doing really well this month. This is the first month of the year that I can say I've been really being consistent with this. So hopefully you guys are being inspired um, on a weekly basis to track your expenses. You can track them along with me, grab your budget planner, and we can do this together. I am going to speed through the writing part and then come back and we'll talk about it a little bit. I don't know if 
I mentioned this to you guys, but I'm going to do the Q&A during the sinking funds portion of the video. That's when we usually do our talking over here on, <laughs> on the channel. Like we got to focus when it comes to all of this stuff because we have to keep these numbers right. So what I'm going to do is instead of putting the balance for every single line, I just put a line in green or I'll do it in pink um, if I'm over budget. How my spending was in that category for the week. So that's why you might see some gaps up in here. But this week I spent out of every single category. So everyone has to get a green stripe. And then I will just flip back over here to my weekly check-in to get my numbers. So for spending, I have $134 left in the month. For eating out, $33 left in the month. For gas, I have $60 left in the month. And then for groceries, I have $87 left in the month. This week, we went to the sunroom. I went there with my cousins, I think last Saturday. Yes, yes, last Saturday. It was our first time there at the sunroom. It's like an independently owned little brunch spot near downtown Houston, I think. And um, it was very pricey, very, very pricey. As you guys see, I had to pull from spending and eating out to cover that bill. They kind of went hand in hand. And then we spent gas and then we spent groceries. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and count the money before we start getting into it. So we have 100. And then we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 40, 60, 80, 180. 10, 10, 20, 30, 40. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 35, 40. And 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. <clears throat> So we have 380 and that is what we have here on our bank note. Okay guys, so I have $3 left from spending. We're gonna push this candle up cause we don't, we don't want any of our dollars catching on fire. <laughs> and if they did, I surely would show it. And then in gas, we have two, four, six, and seven. I'm going to put this $10 into my savings sinking fund. So I'm just going to put that over here to the side for a minute. So spending is going to get 100 and I'm going to do this in 50, 20 and three tens. The tens are clearly on the struggle buzz, but that's okay. 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. Money is money and we will take it. I would iron it, but then I'd just be forgetting about that. Gas is going to get 45, so 20, 40, and a five. And just a reminder, I'm going to be answering your questions during the sinking funds portion of this video, so stay tuned for that. Groceries is going to get 70, so 50, and 20. Home is not gonna get anything. Eating out, I have a gift card um, for my boyfriend that I went ahead and printed out. So <laughs> he's just the sweetest. Uh, we were talking on the phone and I was telling him that it has a QR code on it. Um, I was telling him that I was like, oh, I'm gonna get Chick-fil-A. I told him this last night. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get Chick-fil-A breakfast in the morning. I haven't had Chick-fil-A all week. I love Chick-fil-A. And so I woke up to him sending me a $25 Chick-fil-A gift card. So I decided not to put any money in my um, eating out envelope because I usually always put $25 in my eating out envelope just for me every week. So because my gift card is $25, I'm like, well, we're just doing Chick-fil-A this upcoming week so and then i'm good on meds i have painkillers i have allergy medicine i don't need anything right now and then beauty i am not going to get anything done this week i'm gonna get it done next week so here are my coins i have 
I guess just one receipt. Um, sometimes I don't always get my receipts, so that's why I'm sometimes I'm missing receipts. Um, but I am going to scan my receipt into my Fetch Rewards app. I have a code down below if you want to get started with Fetch. It is turning points into gift cards, which is actually how my boyfriend got this gift card. So he was like, do you have the Chick-fil-A app? I probably should have it. I was like, no, I don't have it. He has like so many different points or whatever, and he was able to redeem them, redeem them for a gift card. So Fetch is the exact same thing, except for you get different types of gift cards. Nothing to the bank. And then those are my cards. So next we will go ahead and get into our saving challenges. We're gonna start with the saving challenge cards here in the month of March. And today I'm going to be filling in the 27. So I'm going to do 20, 25, 26, and 27. And let's go to the check marks. And we are almost done with this sheet, which means we are almost done with the first quarter of the year. So in our saving challenge cards, we currently have 50, 100, 120, 140, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, 151, 152. And I just have one more bubble that I'm gonna fill in on this card on next week and then we will be moving on to our April challenge. Next is going to be the Rose Gold Binder and um these are sold out in rose gold but i do have silver still available and i'm gonna go ahead and do like last week take the card out because it actually needs a little minute to dry and so i want to make sure i that it dries fully before i um put it back in the binder so today we're going to be filling in the 20 And we are done with our rose gold binder. I use these wet erase markers that I got from Amazon. They are linked in my Amazon storefront. And so they come in a bunch of different colors if you are interested in where I got that from. So this is our January envelope, our February envelope. We are here in the March envelope. And we now have 20, 40, 60, $70 in March. And we are done saving for the month of March in this binder. And like I said, I'm gonna put that card, um, that I'm gonna put this card to the side so that it can dry a little bit before I put it back in the binder. And we're done with our saving challenges. Okay, so for our bills binder, we are going to be putting that $46 into my debt envelope because that is a debt for me so today is the 22nd i did put that this was my taxes i'm going to put the 46 and add 46 to that so this year i paid or will have paid 241 dollars in taxes so let's go 20, 40, five, and six. And then my taxes are paid. I'm so excited. I do not want another tax bill. It is not fun. Ugh, it's not fun. So that is it for the bills binder. Okay, we will go ahead and get into our high priority binder. Okay, so I am not gonna be spending my own money on my birthday, but I'm just gonna go ahead and keep putting a dollar in because hey, this will be <laughs> my lunch money for that day. My birthday is in August and I will be 33, my Jesus year. Birthday has 21 and two. And so let's go ahead and just jump right into the questions. So most of my questions that I got from you guys came from um, the recent 
day in the life vlog that I posted. I'm going to have that video linked down below in case you want to see it. You want to see my face. <laughs> um, I'm going to have that vlog linked down below. And most of the questions came from there. So the first question that I have is when will the black cash wallets come back? So if you have been watching the channel for a minute, you have seen my black uh, cash wallets rose gold. I switch my wallets out all the time. So um, that's why nothing is in here. I will probably use this one next week. So wardrobe is getting a five for 20, 25 and 30. So the, all of the good inventory that has um, like no imperfections, no flaws, I think all of them are sold out. But as a matter of fact, I was looking at it yesterday and I was like, I think I have one more, uh, one more good one. So I do plan on checking my orders, the orders that are in the queue to make sure no one has purchased that one. And if it's not purchased, then I'll be able to, um, I'll put it here on my community tab for whoever wants to get it. It's one more left, but the imperfect wallets will be available next week. So April and May is going to be getting a five. This should put us, oh, we're over 100, yay. Okay, so in April and May, we have 50, 70, 90, 95, 100, 105. So that was the first question. And yes, my imperfect wallets have minor imperfections. They're 99% of the time still functional just some minor imperfections. The next question is, um, again, this was from my day in the life of a small business vlog. And I was asked, what is the deciding factor between the white mailers or the bubble mailers? So usually I will use my bubble mailers for uh, like the envelopes, for wallets, charms, like all that good stuff. And the white mailers are typically for stickers only so if somebody has stickers and envelopes in an order or stickers and a wallet or stickers and charms it will all go in a bubble mailer but if i have sticker only orders those go in the white um rigid looking mailers so outings has 5 10 15 16 17 18. Okay, my next question, where can I get your charms? I'm assuming uh, the charms on my planner, like the charms that I have on my budget planner, those are actually in my shop. They are available. And I have the all gold one, like the whole thing is gold. And then I have the gold one with like some blue uh, rhinestones in it, but they are available in the shop, I believe. There is a link down below to them. There should be, but just check the description box. So car maintenance has 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, and 390. I was really hoping to get to 400 before I take my car to the shop. I'm taking my car to the shop next week. So hopefully everything is under $400. <laughs> we can only pray. Okay, miscellaneous is going to get $2. And another question from the vlog was, which printer do you use for your shop? So I use two printers. I use a Canon printer, um, which is the black one that you guys saw. And then I use an HP printer, which is the white one that you saw. So miscellaneous has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, let's see. The next question from the vlog was, will the check mark stickers be available for purchase outside of the monthly challenge? Yes, I feel like I've been asked that a couple times. And I think I've mentioned like, sometimes I forget some things that you guys have asked. So I definitely don't mind if you have to ask more than once because it helps me to remember sometimes. So I do want to make the check mark stickers um, available for you guys for you to use you know for whatever else your planner another challenge or whatever I just need to work on creating the listing and I'm thinking that they're probably gonna be they're probably gonna be two fifty two dollars and fifty cents I'm thinking so 
gifts should have 22 10 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 so i can uh make the i can make the check mark stickers an individual listing yes i can next is my goddaughter she's gonna get two dollars and i did um, I don't know if I told y'all that already. I put her 100 in the bank and I have a place note for her now. So she has her own bucket in my account. So she currently has 100, 105, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. $110. Okay, so the next two questions come from my last cash envelope stuffing video and um, I'm gonna answer one before we finish this binder and then the other one is gonna be a little bit more extensive so I'm gonna save that for the low priority binder. So the next question is where did I get my planner? So my planner is an Erin Condren monthly planner in the size seven by nine and there is a link in my description box to the website to these exact planners um, there is a link down below to the exact planners that I have so savings is going to get the five but then savings is also going to get the ten from my wallet so two four six eight and ten so we added actually fifteen to savings and savings has 10 or 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So I did make a deposit from this envelope in my uh, last bill condensing video and I'm just starting over. So we have 20. That's how I'm going to treat this envelope, which is the same way I treat my saving, my, my emergency fund envelope. So we are done with our high priority envelopes. I'm gonna get them into the binder and grab the low priority binder. Okay, y'all, so let's get into our low priority binder, starting with car tags. And it is going to get $2. It is fastly approaching. I have to, uh, I have to redo this, do my tags in like two months, I think, two, three months. Okay, so the last question that I have that I'm going to answer was thinking about starting my own business, selling cash envelopes, saving challenges, and binders. Any advice on how to get started? So I actually like thought about this one for a minute because I take questions like these very seriously. Um, I am first and foremost very honored to receive questions like this. It means a lot to me that you guys trust what I would have to say. So I'm very honored to receive this question. Very honored to answer it. Okay, tags has 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So my first advice kind of goes with like before getting started. So having a business like this, cash envelope, saving challenges, all those wonderful things, um, you're going to be using your hands a lot. So the first thing I would say is to kind of assess to see if you are a person who likes creating things um, primarily with your hands. Most of my creation is done on the computer now, but um, it's, it's still the type of business where you have to create a lot. And sometimes in our community, as you guys know, people are not really being that creative. They're just copying other people. And I mean, that's a whole other topic for a whole other video. I'm not gonna get into that. But I will say that before getting started, I would definitely assess to see if creativity is a strength of yours, if it's something that you enjoy doing. Also with making cash envelopes, you will work with your hands a lot. Like there's a lot that goes into making an envelope. Um, even envelopes like these where the envelope itself is made, but I have to vinyl and weed the letters, you work with your hands a lot. So I would definitely say to assess that you um, are creative and you like to be creative number one number two then you like to use your hands um, because without those two things it might be a business that's hard to maintain but if you are a creative person you enjoy creating and you enjoy working with your hands you will probably love this type of business 
Okay, so electronics has 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40, which I am gonna get rid of that envelope in time. Um, this is just where we are right now. Okay, number two would be um, just to make sure that you have passion. With anything that you do in life, you wanna be passionate about it. You wanna make sure that you have a strong passion for finances, for budgeting, um, or you, you know, whatever your, your why may be, if you're trying to come out of debt, if you are trying to maybe save for a house, a car, a child, a wedding, a traveling, whatever you might be um, trying to save money for. But there has to be, there's something that you're going to need that you're going to have to hold on to when, you know, on those, on those days that you're tired, on those days where you're sick, on those days where you just don't feel like doing it. It's the, the passion that you have for it or your why that's gonna keep you going. So I would definitely say have passion for this type of business and to know your why. So emergency is going to get a five. And so we have 1,200, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So 12, 10. Okay, next is giveaways is gonna get $2. Okay, so my next tip, and like y'all, none of this is in order. I'm just kind of going off like the top of my head of what I could think that would be um, maybe the most helpful. The next tip that I have, and this is applicable to all businesses or business-like entities, is to have a solid marketing and advertising plan. You need to know who are you gonna be selling cash envelopes to, what's your audience like marketing advertising they are the lifeline of any business or business like entity giveaways has 40 45 46 47 48 49 and 50. Ooh, we made it to 50 y'all i didn't even realize so i always think of businesses and the reason why I can say any business is because All Things Plan is not the first business I had. I had a tutoring business before. I had a total of five employees. Christmas is going to get 10. So with any business, you need solid um, marketing and advertising. Sometimes people, when they go into business, sometimes they spend a lot of time and effort on the product that they wanna sell, the branding, the colors, equipment and all that and they never put that amount of effort time and energy and more into marketing and advertising and having a strategy and having a plan and so i always talk about a business as like a beautiful car you can have your car could be beautiful it could have all these features interior exterior it could do this it could do that if that car has no gas if that car has no battery that car is going nowhere that is the same thing about a business. If you have no marketing plan or advertising plan, the business is going nowhere. So Christmas is getting 10 and that's going to give us 50, 70, 90, 100, 105, 110. So that's probably like my most valuable piece of advice that I could give to anyone is to know how you're gonna market, how you're gonna advertise, what's your plan. And then once you have it and, it and you know it works, you wanna be consistent with it. So my last tip would be to be consistent with whatever it is that you wanna do. And for anybody else that may be watching this portion of the video and you have a desire to um, have another type of business, it may not be what you see here, but you just desire to, you know, either bring in extra income and or help you come out of debt or even do it full time. Functions got two, so 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So with that being said, this is what I plan to do in the fourth week, the fourth video of every month is to answer questions that you guys may have for me. So I will respond to you guys in the comments when you have questions, but then I also like to bring them in the video to give like a, a verbal explanation and for anyone else who may have the same question. So car tires has 41, two, three, and four. 
So if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. So next week, guys, I'm going to be back with my April budget setup video. So that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions for me and you would like your questions to be featured in April's Q&A, go ahead and leave it down below. I will also um, still try my best to answer in the comments for you to give you a quicker response. Please don't forget to let me know how March has been going for you. Next weekend, I am going to be going out of town, but I will still aim to post a cash stuffing video for you guys because for my own sake, I have to keep up with my numbers and know what's going on in my budget. So I will attempt to get that video out to you guys next week as well. If not, you'll definitely get the budget setup video. So I hope you guys enjoy your weekend and I hope to see you next week. Bye.